Okay, so I haven't made a, a market watch video uh, lately. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to update with um, basically the newer portfolio that I'm doing. And uh, I'll just start by saying that my uh, logic for going into this portion of a portfolio is the same as my logic for marijuana. Now, I bought a lot of penny stocks and I bought a lot of shares of marijuana companies and of, um, what are they called, uh, med tech companies that are using marijuana, medicinal marijuana, in order to um, slowly implement medicinal marijuana and then eventually recreational marijuana. Now, for the time being, marijuana is basically still illegal in most states. So for the time being, most of those stocks are very low. Now, in my logic, eventually the politics are going to turn and marijuana is going to be legalized for both medicinal and recreational as Generation Y and Generation Z gain more strength to vote over the baby booners and Generation X. So medicinal marijuana is being widely accepted and it's coming and that's what pretty much pushed the stock uh, blows off up um, because of it, no matter what side of it on, you're on, it's like people are going to want marijuana breathalyzers for the police and law enforcement, and they're also going to need them for other reasons. But um, for this portion of the portfolio that I added to my new TD America trade, um, I'm going into lithium mining. So what's my logic? Um, lithium ion batteries are obviously going to be a lot bigger in the future because just about every automotive company is attempting to build EV cars and they can't have an EV car unless they've got batteries and lithium ion is basically the next, uh, major wave that these automotive companies are going to have to move to. So here are just a couple of stocks that offer... Uh, you a position for relatively inexpensive uh, points right now, right now that is, um, in lithium mining. So let's just take a quick look at them. Okay, so the first one I see is NMX, right? Now this one doesn't have a whole lot of data, so it may have been bought out, so I may actually remove that one from my watch list. But um, in, in, um, I'll, I'll have to, I think that was like a foreign stock or something. So wait, I'll look at another one that's actually, um, I'll start from the bottom. Okay, so the CXBMF. Now, this is Calibri Mining Corp. Now, you can do your own research on these things. Uh, this was actually slightly higher, but it started dropping. But, you know, dips are not that big of a deal because the thing about it is we're looking at this over the next three, five, or possibly seven years. See, these are not stocks that you day trade. These are not stocks that you get into and then jump out of. These are stocks that you actually have to hold. And when I say hold, it may take you two or three years before you actually see them move upwards. So anyway, Calibri was $0.24. Cents. Let's see, it's five-year. Um, in fact, let's see, it's one year, 24 cents, and right now it's down to 0 0.06. Now, I'm not sure where it'll be by the end of this week, but the thing about it is, at this price, you can buy um, a large position in it, and it probably cost you like $60 or something to buy a um, 100 shares or something like that. I'm not really sure of the math off the top of my head, but this is just one. Okay. Now, um, actually, there was a couple of these that had jumped up significantly, and I wanted to show you one of those. Uh, WPSHF, over the last, let's see, where is it? Over the last five years, this one has seen a high of, what is this, 0. 0.60, a little bit over 0. 0.60. Right now, it is relatively low at 0. 0.1209. So that's another relatively easy stock for most people to stomach. You know, because see, my thing is, you buy low, you sell high. The lower you can go, the better. Because the thing about it is it costs you so much less to buy thousands and thousands of shares of it. So how about this one? P-E-M-I-F. Let me open the link in a new tab. Okay, let's drag this over here to monitor two. Okay. So this one, Pure Energy Minerals Limited, 0.248. It had a high thus far in one year. It had a high of, what is this, 
looks like a little, what is that, a 0.47, and now we're down to about 0.25. I don't know how much lower it can go, but um, you might want to do your research on this. But there, you also, when you do your research, when I say do your research, you got to read the news to find out if these companies are doing anything special anytime soon. So uh, February 27th, Pure Energy Limited is pleased to provide an update on the flagship Clayton Valley project. So they've got stuff coming. So you can do more research on that yourself and then decide whether or not you're interested. Okay. Um, so, okay, how about KNTNF? Okay. Uh, KNTNF, K92 Mining. Now, in a year, this one has seen a high of 73 cents. Right now, it's down to 0.41. And, um, you know, some people might want to try to wait low till it goes a little bit lower. But the thing about it is if this reaches a dollar and you bought in anywhere under 50 cents, you've, you know, you still made some money. Because the important thing to remember is the lithium mining is only going to continue. Because of green energy and regulations against fossil fuels, Europe has basically said that they're moving over to electric vehicles. Now, that may take place within the next 20 years. I don't think you're going to have to wait that long to see gains off of this, but I think you may end up seeing them within the next two or three years. But um, there's a lot of cars that are trying to push forward these electric vehicles, especially considering, you know, electric vehicles are silent. Electric vehicles only require recharging and they don't require as much maintenance as uh, ICE vehicles. So it's going to happen one way or another. The only question is, will you be in it? Will you be in it when it does? So this one right here is seventy Lithium X Energy Corp. And uh, it's been a little bit higher. It's been up to $2.03. You know, you can't really worry about the buy-in. But um, I, I really think that these things are going to go considerably higher. Is GL... XF. Okay. Okay. GL, GALXF, Galaxy Resources Limited. Um, okay. This one has already seen significant gains. Um, this was 0.10 as a, probably a low. This was about 0.10. It might have gone a little bit lower. And now you can already see that this shit is rising considerably. It's up to 2 point three four nine and that's in okay so that was five years even if you look at one year ago one within this one year it the lowest it's been is like a dollar 26 and the highest it's been is 339 which means there's still room to move back to 339 and then again you can do the research on this lithium glutton away industries blah 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 yeah there's gonna be significant demand because you got to remember Lithium ion batteries are basically everything. I mean, cell phones, cars, uh, drones. I mean, the thing about it is, along with marijuana, lithium ion is just something that you know that they're going to be using a lot more of in the future. So, you know, basically it's like this. You just got to get in it. And if you're not in it, you can't be in it to win it if you're not in it. So you just got to get in. Okay, so this is Millennial Lithium Corp. Let's just look at their year. This is their year. Millennial Lithium Corp has gone from a dollar two to two dollars and fifty-two cents in one year. So that's a significant gain right there. But I'm telling you, these things are gonna keep going. And the thing about it is, you don't know when they're gonna start to make that major upward move. But you're either in it or you're not. And I'm gonna be in them. Now, the last one has seen significant rise. This one's called Lithium Americas Corp. Now, I'm already in this one, and I've been in this one for a while. And um, I, I bought this basically just because um, I, I bought it when I bought a number of other stocks, and I bought it on Scott Trade, moved over to TD America Trade recently. But let me just show you. This one right here, in one year, um, this one has seen a low of $1.53, but it's up to $7.37. In five years, now I haven't held it five years, I held it like a little bit more than three, but this has been as low as $0.39. Cents. So if you bought this shit at $0.39, cents, you're now at $7.37. So basically, I'll just say it again. You're either in it or you're not. 
Now, people keep asking me, oh, who do I trade with? Well, I used to trade with Scott Trade, but what happened with Scott Trade has basically moved to become TD America Trade. So now I'm in TD Ameritrade. Um, I'm also part of E Trade, and I'm also part of Capital One 360. So if you're interested in starting a stock account because you've never had one before, I think most millennials, their first stock account was actually Coinbase because they were so anxious to buy Bitcoin. And then they moved over to, um, what is it, CoinMarketCap. And then they moved to BitConnect and then they lost a lot of money at BitConnect. But um, these stocks and commodities are way more, I would say, trustworthy than these uh, coins and these altcoins. Altcoins, I don't trust at all at this point. But um, I would say that if you are interested, the best thing you can do is scrape together what money you have and get yourself a TD America trade. A TD Ameritrade, I keep saying America trade. But what I will say is this. I would say every single month, if you can peel off maybe 50 or $100 and put this in your portfolio, buy some stocks out of one of these companies. I mean, this one, Lithium Americas Corp., this one is right now at $7.37, but something tells me that that's not the high. This thing could go considerably higher. I mean, if you had bought in when the shit was $0.30, cents, you'd be up $7.37 for every single $0.30 cents you spent. I mean, you know, the other ones that are low right now could be the next Lithium Americas Corp.'s. And, uh, you know, basically, that's basically it. Um, I, I would say a lithium ion portfolio, that should be if you're into stock trading. And I'm not talking about these day traders. I don't like day trading like where you're jumping in and out. No, no, no. I go long term. Like blows off, you may remember I got that at like 15 cents. That was one of my favorites. 15 cents went all the way up to $2.90. Now, it dropped back to like a dollar, $1.70. But the thing about it is because I bought in so cheap, I'm still way up on every single share. And I bought like over 10,000 shares. Um, a lot of these other marijuana stocks that I've been talking about, I've bought 10,000, 20,000 shares of them. So the thing about it is the bottom line of all stock trading, buy low and sell high. And that's the bottom line. If you get into lithium ion now and you you can research it yourself and you can pick out some lithium ion penny stocks but if you get into lithium ion now I really doubt that you'll be regretting it 5 6 or even 7 years from now but I don't even think it's going to take that long once these European countries move on these lithium ion batteries for these EVs once Tesla starts you know increasing its production once these cell phone companies start increasing production, these laptop manufacturers increasing production, lithium-ion has nowhere to go but up. 